girl, I knew how sweet a kiss could be. Oh. I knew how sweet a kiss could be. Like the summer sun to shine upon your sweetness over oh. me. For your sweetness over me. Crochet a little bit, and I watch television. Yeah. And I go out and yeah. carouse and burn down buildings. <laughs> <laughs> Full of good times and gaiety. <laughs> oh, Susie. There's more. <laughs> oh, that's really living. Yes. And what about Susie and Randy? Will he make her a movie star? Will Susie's shoulder become as famous as Raquel's Welsh? Yeah, you know, being around books is so <laughs> it's educational. Yeah. It's something more meaningful, more uplifting, more lasting, you know? You're right. I'll ask the girl. <clears throat> Where are the dirty books? And and what a tomorrow. body. Never mind. Did you know that Julie Andrews had a body? Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Mary Poppins? Mm -hmm. I think how good your knees are. I think that has something to do with it. I have great knees. <laughs> have you? I, have great I knees. noticed that. Have are they knees. pink? Yeah. Oh, they're <laughs> pink and white all over. <laughs> Were you in Europe only? only I was, work? yes, I was there for, I went to Paris to see the collection. Is this show a jinx for you or something? This is not the first, now I wasn't here the last time that you, you were here, but the time before. You Time came before. on the show and you went to the hospital. Went to the hospital as the guest of NBC. Uh, well, that was, that was really not... Uh, anybody's fault. What happened was, as we were leaving the show that time, uh, oh, the, yeah, right uh, outside. the uh, what do you call that, sewer thing had been tilted up and my foot slipped on it and uh, I was leaving for Texas I that was night. standing right outside and, and you came down and took a header. <laughs> nice. And so I went to this little hospital uh, across the street, your friendly neighborhood uh, hospital. Cedars of Oxnard. Cedars of uh, Oxnard. <laughs> I could work all my life to do something really good, a good piece of work, and nobody would ever hear about it. And just tip over somewhere where there's a camera. But, uh, I am just so glad to be home. I gotta leave again in July. I thought I was gonna be off all summer. Do you get no. bored? I mean, bored? not the performing uh, song, but when you get through performing, there's do, time and you're on I the road. Do I get bored? Yeah. How bored is it, Cass? Well, I'll tell you how boring so it is. So boring, that. It's boring. I mean, I watch all the soap operas. I mean, I, I watch every soap opera. I'm totally Is Secret immersed. Storm still on? I don't watch CBS. Oh, about at one time on radio. On radio? A dozen sure. different... Do you remember that? Lady remember when Diana was pregnant, was pregnant for a year and a half? And a, half? Yeah. a medical first. And her husband was a doctor. I guess if anybody can do it, he can. And the kid come out and says, what kept you? Right, he's talking already. I mean, they're in love with the wrong people all the time. You know, that's really the basis of all soap operas, is being in love with your best friend's uh, milkman or something. It's just... I mean, I was watch... I used to watch General Hospital all the time, and there was a character on General Hospital, uh, Phil Brewer. Oh, there he is now. <laughs> Phil Brewer. And I sat down at a table where there was one empty chair, and I was having my coffee, and a guy comes over, and he says... I look up at him, he says, can I sit down? Now, instantly, I hate this man. And I don't... You know, I'm willing to give everybody a chance to be grim, but this but man, I didn't give him it's... a chance at all. I just said, no, you can't sit down. And then he went over and stood in the corner and drank his coffee like this. And I realized it's Martin West, the actor who played Phil Brewer, and I was just being nasty to him because he was so rotten on that show. And you didn't put the two together? No, I just thought, oh, him, I don't like him. You know, they say dates with celebrities are subject to their availability, and I just haven't been available. I don't know. <laughs> oh, you got it. I know. You must go out there and become a star. Okay. <laughs> Not so fast. Oh. I'm a tree. I don't feel like a tree, but he says I'm a tree, so I guess I'm a tree. We're bringing a couple of girls up tonight, so, um... The, the closet again? <laughs> <laughs> no, not the closet! <laughs> I haven't been out of that closet one night in two weeks! I like a night out in the living room. <laughs> Look, grown up. You're a loser! Everybody, the uncles and the aunts, the mamas and the papas. That's the name for the group. What is it? The uncles and the aunts! Don't I have seven gold records hanging in my bathroom? Don't I? Don't I? Oh, that reminds me. Such a meal I'm cooking for you in your dressing room. Oh. Egg roll crepla. <laughs> and I think I smell it burning. Oh, I hope so. How's everything? Terrible. My family is here and they're nice, but they're driving me crazy.
crazy. I'm so Where would you be without them? Asleep on that couch. Thanks, it's hot lips. I'm real excited. Do you remember a period in your life where it was the other way where you said, ah? Uh, yeah, it. yesterday was grim. <laughs> moody, Terrible. moody, huh? Oh, and my nose was hey. oh. I can't wait to hear you do your song. Well, you just might have to because the introduction took so long I blew my voice. Will you cover for me? <laughs> hey, I got a cookie. I went. I... Wait a minute. You, you stole my cookie. Of course I did. Why be a gypsy if you can't steal a cookie? <laughs> you heard Stromboli? Don't worry, a gypsy never forgets a friend. <laughs> you ain't here, I'll go steal Marcus Welby. <laughs> Look at me when I'm going to throw you out the train. And so, the mystery of the missing belt buckle remained a mystery. <coughs> but an even bigger mystery is, how come my lips don't move when I talk? <laughs> A baroness about to sing a duet with a commoner. Oh, come on, Carol. I'm just as common as you are. <laughs> they don't buy a crumb of bread. I'd like my new ring. Three carrots. Love them. Jerry's a night night. I may be ill. She's wearing a wig. I thought she had brown roots. Well, honey, you couldn't stop the show with power breaks. <laughs> You've seen that part 12 times. How about the part where I turned down your marriage proposal? Damn. Are you going to take one? Or are you too ladylike? See? Bullshit. <laughs> Circumstances beyond anyone's control, the Ray Stevens show normally seen at this hour will be seen at this hour. <laughs> Better than Lassie. What hadn't been done to death? Yes! <laughs> hey, drink, drink, drink. <laughs>
just like to thank the Academy for this really sensationally useless barrel. This is Russian humor. <laughs> Baker said, if I got a problem, the plumber's convention is tonight, and they've ordered a cake in the shape of a giant blank. Okay. <laughs> You're singing right on key. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a funny dog. Yeah, oh yeah. yourself <laughs> say hold up your gold for the people there look at that gold there okay you're gonna yeah. get mugged in the parking lot gas actually this is known as the turkey of the north the penguin the turkey of the north yes shoe shoe <laughs> You know, I'll never forget the big love of my life. He was a musician. Oh, yeah, where'd you meet him? At my second husband's funeral. <laughs> Daddy, I'm talking to you.